This video will look at reference drawings, how to add them and convert them from DWG formats and how to add them into your project to help speed up the conversion into Vertex BD. If you have a DWG or equivalent format drawing and need to bring this in as a reference drawing to draw your project directly over, it is necessary to first convert the DWG into the Vertex proprietary drawing format .vxp. First start by dragging the content from its location into BD. You can then select if it's reading to a 2D drawing or 3D model if this option is active. Choose the DWG conversion process, choosing default, and click OK. The DWG will open in BD. However, in order to prevent the DWG conversion process running every time you open the project, we should save it in .vxp format. To do this, go to File, Save File As. With this being used as a reference drawing, it's advisable to save it directly into the project so that if transferring the project elsewhere, it will remain part of it. First we go into the shared folder, into projects, and then into the project and into the ref folder within the project. BD will automatically open this location when adding in the reference drawing. Now enter the file name, change save as typed 2D drawings.vxp and click save. We can now proceed with putting in the reference drawing. With the modeling tab active, hit the reference drawing menu and go to the reference drawing command. Under file, we can see previously used reference drawings or this button will allow us to choose a drawing. Once clicked, it brings us to the previously created ref folder. Select the one to use and click open. You can put in the description of the reference drawing if you require for the properties. There are also further options in the reference drawings column. Select location will snap the origin of the reference drawings to the cursor for easy placement. Having this unchecked will place this at the project origin. Use reference color will bring in the drawing in a pale blue color that's easily distinguishable from other line drawings. You can also control which drawing layers the reference drawings will use if different from the default. Freeze reference drawing will save a local copy to the project so that any changes made to the original drawing are not changed within the project. Finally, the visible layers column allows the user to choose what layers are brought in from the original drawing. This will allow you to easily select from the imported DWG layers themselves or from the Vertex BD layers. Upon finalizing the options, the reference drawing should now be attached to the cursor for placement. Before doing so, we can use the right-click contextual menu to see further options for manipulation of the reference drawing. For example, rotating it, mirroring it, or rescaling. We can then place the drawing in the required location. With the reference drawing in place, we can now begin setting up our wall attributes, which will be the next video in this series. Thank you for watching.